Hello and welcome to Scott's Garage. Emily's back. And if you put on the right blinker, that blinks kind of normally, but if you put on the left blinker, it's blinking really fast. A little bit. So when you have a light that blinks fast like that, not in all cars, but in this car, and I think like a lot of Toyotas and other Japanese cars, that's telling you that there's a problem. And so we should probably address that problem. Uh, it usually means, and I think in this case, that one of the bulbs is out. The so, hazard lights on. So those two are blinking in the front. And this one is blinking in the right rear, left rear, not blinking. All right, so let's remove that bulb and replace it, okay? There's a little access door right here with a handle on the top. So go ahead and remove that. You just pull down on that and then the whole thing comes out. And then reach up in there. You should be able to see the offending bulb and socket. We bought a new set of two bulbs and we're going to open the package, put the new one in the socket and replace it. Hey, it's good that you have like Nails, huh? Mm -hmm. That's helpful. Help. Okay, we're probably not going to be able to see. Okay, fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. You got, you got it in the socket, uh -huh. and then just put the, put it in there. Yep, and then try to turn it till it kind of snaps in, and then give it a, like a quarter turn tightening. It works. Okay. So it comes in a two pack, right? If that bulb went out, this one's probably pretty old too. Don't you think we should replace both of them? I think so. We got this side buttoned up. That was pretty easy. And then we took out the access panel, which is a little different on this side, but the socket is much easier to get to. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Get more hot. Still looks good. We'll keep that one. Just for emergencies. You never know. No, we're going to put the new one. Yep. Now putting the new. Snapping her in there. And then flip it around. And in the socket and give it a quarter turn. I don't know what you call them. And then yeah, give it a quarter turn. There you go. That feel pretty tight? Can you tell me? Looking good. Okay, put back your access panel. The way that it helps when you're 411. <laughs> to crawl in there. Then you put back that access panel. And Emily did request a screwdriver, but did not use it. So this is a truly no tool needed. Yeah, just with your finger. That's all he, That's all we needed. Nails. And um, really a no tool fix. You may say, well, it's just a light bulb. You know, it's just a blinker. It's not that big a deal. Well, you can get a ticket. You can get pulled over for not having your blinker working or an illegal lane change where there was no blinker or even worse, you get an accident. It can be um, a serious situation. You need to keep all of your lights and things working. So that's kind of part, one of the parts of our normal service. When we do the oil change and the tire rotation and all that is we go around and we make sure that all of the lights are working. And I don't think a lot of people do that, but I think it's a really good, it only takes two minutes and uh and you're done all right so that does it for this episode of scott's garage say goodbye emily